Well, glory to God. Come on now. Can't stop singing about your love. Amen. Praise and praise him. How do you feel the presence of God in the house this morning? Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Well, this is the first Sunday of the month. The first Sunday of the month, we do baby dedications. Amen. You may be seated for a little while. We'll get you up again. You know how we are around here. You can't stay seated too long at Upper Room. Um, I'm going to ask the, uh, the Mitchell family, is, is the Mitchell family here? If they would come with Hunter. Hunter and Nova, are they here today? Yep. Pastor Anne-Marie, will you take Hunter and Nova, please? And now would the family of Harmony come? Harmony, Kelly, come. Pastor Bing, would you do Harmony, Kelly, please? Thank you. Well, glory. And when now the families of Michelle Jean Gilles come, please. Michelle Jean Gilles. Pastor Diane. I'll get right next. so many today, praise God. <laughs> Pastor Diane, would you bring them down that way? Now the families of Jerice, Kendrick, Beauvale, if you'd come, Jerice, Pastor Ray. And finally, the families of Maya Christine, if you'd come. Pastor Regan. Well, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God. Look at this. The church is growing. The church is growing. If we need to, we're just birthing them. Hallelujah. Thank God. Bible says in the book of Psalms that except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman waketh but in vain. It is vain for you to rise up early or to sit up late or to eat the bread of sorrows, for so he giveth his beloved sleep. And here's what's important today. It says, lo, children are the heritage of the Lord and the fruit of the womb is his reward. And that's so telling and that's so significant when we begin to realize that our children are God's concern, that our children is his reward. And you know, we go about our lives and we're certainly loving our babies and so possessive of them and, and care for them. But today, what we're doing in this time is really acknowledging the Lordship of Jesus Christ in their lives. So mama, when the, when the baby's temperature rises in the middle of the night and you're sitting vigil all night, worried and concerned, I want you to know that that baby is God's property. And 
God's watching over and you're not alone. Amen. And God's loving on that baby just as much as you are. Hallelujah. And don't think it ends when they're babies because when they're 21 and 25 and they take the car and you're all sitting home worried about it, don't forget that that child, that young child is God's. Amen. And amen. So we can cast our cares on him. Hallelujah. But it is our job to raise them in the fear and in the admonition of the Lord. And what we see in the word of God is mothers bringing their children to the temple to be prayed for and to be sanctified. And that's what we're doing. That's what we saw uh, Elizabeth and Mother Mary do when they brought Jesus to the temple on the eighth day. Symbolically, today's the eighth day for your baby. You're bringing them to the temple of God and we're going to lay hands and believe God and sanctify them to the Lord. Amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you, Lord, for what you're about to do. I thank you, Lord, for the precious gift you've given these families, Lord. And God, right now, I pray for the fathers. Lord, I thank you for these men of God. Lord, we know we're living in a time when fatherlessness is running rampant in this nation. And as a result, we're seeing a generation of children growing, Lord, who, 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 who are struggling in every facet of life, from drug addiction to violence, Lord, to addictions of every kind, Father. For we know how important the Father is to this home and to this household. But God, these men are here today. And I thank you, Lord, that they're standing responsibly in their position. Lord, they're being, Father God, Father that you have ordained for them to be. Bless them, Lord. I pray for an ear to hear and an eye to see, Lord. God, I pray that you, Lord, would hear their prayer, Father God, that you would hear Father God, their hearts as they come before you. Give them guidance. Give them direction for their family, Lord. Even as you gave to Joseph when you told him it was time to take Mary and Jesus over into Egypt for their own safety, Lord. I pray and thank you for these men of God. (coughs) And Lord, now we lay our hands upon the mother. Hallelujah, Lord. Bless these women of God, I pray. Lord, let your anointing flow through them. Lord, let your glory flow through them. Lord, as they tend to their families' needs, both natural and spiritual, let them not grow weary, Lord, in their well-doing. But God, thank you, Lord, for let them be a voice of, of support, a voice of encouragement, a voice of revelation. Father God, and Lord, we ask for a double portion blessing upon these women. We pray for these marriages right now. We pray that you'd bind them together ever strong. For Lord, they have a responsibility now, Father, to be an example, to be an environment for these children to raise up in, that they would grow to know their God. And Lord, now we lay our hands upon these babies. Thank you, Father. My God, Lord, we thank you as we sanctify them to your purpose, Lord. We ask your blessing be upon them. Father, that you would ever surround them with angels, Lord, keeping them safe and sound and healthy and whole all the days of their lives, Lord. Thank you for the day when they grow, Lord, to, to receive you, as Lord and Savior. Father, we thank you that their name shall be inscribed in the book of life. Lord, we thank you for the day when they're baptized with the Holy Ghost for the very first time. Watch over these babies, Lord. We love them, Father God. And we know, Lord, that you embrace each and every one of them. Father God, bless these homes, bless these families. For on this day, Lord, We have dedicated Michelle to you. On this day, Father, we dedicate Jerice to you. On this day, Harmony and Maya have been dedicated to you. On this day, Lord, Nova and Hunter have been dedicated to you. Thy kingdom come and thy will be done in their lives. In Jesus' precious and holy name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. God bless you. And congratulations. Would you just 
Would you just really quickly turn and face the congregation and show off your beautiful babies to the church? Hallelujah. How many are going to be praying for these babies? Hallelujah. Bless God. You may be seated. Let's have church today.